welcome back. I'm going to do the same video as yesterday where I've just done um, whatever, just emptying boards just to save ring. So we'll literally just do every component. There might be some ICs and that, the things like that left on. There probably won't be because we've done most of them on um, the IC chip cut mountain. we we'll start straight away. These are relays. You can see this is obviously broken and you can see where the, uh, the silver contacts are. That. Don't forget to subscribe, subscribe to the channel. We're trying to reach a thousand to the 24 hour live stream video. I'm scrapping just because I want to get um start doing live streams and I can't do that until I reach a thousand subscribers. Feel free to leave a comment down below on any video ideas you have. Relays. Can't wait for a relay video soon where well, I'll just take apart relays only for the silver. Just I've got so many kilos of them. These have aluminium in. So then going with my aluminium capacitors. Pretty much all we want. Let's check the back. So we'll just get these IC slots out now because they have good gold pins in. If you can see they're gold plated, then they're the ones you should collect. Very well plated there. No room for me to get in there. Go from this side. There you go, those two. I'm going with my other ones. Once we reach a few kilos, we'll do a video. I'd probably want about three or four kilos of them first. We should be able to from these boards anyway. By the time we've done them all. So it won't be long. Here we have copper coils inside to save them with our copper bearing stuff. Uh, little transformer type things for copper. So far we've done stuff with silver and copper, no gold. Oh no, we've done those icy stuff, didn't we? So we've got a bit of gold. These capacitors have a high chance for having silver in. These red and yellow ones, so we'll just get side cutters and cut them off. We've got the yellow ones down here. We will be collecting stuff with palladium in today as well. But we do want to do, um, I do want to do an IC scrap, uh, not an IC, a MLCC scrap marathon soon for silver and palladium. It won't just be a, a MLCCs, I'll be putting in mixed stuff which is similar to them as well, like the SND resistors, which contain a bit of rhodium but mostly just silver. Silver capacitors. Now that's that board done. Yeah. I'm not including the MRCCs in this video. If um, there's MRCCs on the board, they're staying on and going in with my depopulated boards until I uh, do my MRCC video. Then we we'll go through our depopulated boards and we can take them off. So we've got some copper here. As you can see. Copper coils. MRCC here has just fallen off, so I'll take that off. We've got some large ones here, some tantalum, black. 
S and D tantalum. And then a tactical switch. Where the buttons are on the board. Another board done. A heavy one here. It's only a little bit heavy. It'd be good to get the heavy ones done. Problem is if they're heavy, it just means there's loads of copper. It's not what we're looking for, but it's still money. So I'll take them. Big heavy motor. Pretty much all the weight of this board gone now, just from that. This one's not even going to be quarter as heavy as the last one, what we've just done. I know, I know it's heavy, but still some copper. Some more aluminium capacitors. Some aluminium on those, those boxes. If they're not brittle, then they're aluminium. If they are brittle, then they'll have um, they'll be relays. And then these little silver capacitors we remove. Some large ones here as well, which is good. There's a transistor here I must have left when I was doing the ICs. So we'll take that off and stick them in for our ICs. This, I ain't sure any the, completely what it has, but I know it has plenty of copper in, so that can go in with my MOSFETs. Got one of these really nice. If you watch my other videos, you'll know about these. I took a few apart. And it's fully plated pins, real nice throughout. I'm keeping them separate because when I get enough of that, just the fully plated type like that, I'll process them all in video. Just them. Um, we've got some relays. Big aluminium capacitor there we would take. Uh, some MOSFETs. Just snap them off. I don't remove the uh, MOSFETs which are soldered down. But this tight which just comes straight off, I'll take off. It's half the weight's copper. And then there's a little bit of gold in there as well. Oh, there can be a bit of gold anyway. That's all our MOSFETs. MOSFETs are nice and heavy, so I like adding them there, having them adding up. Take the relays. And we'll just take the silver capacitors, and that's this board done. Or is it just the one? So that's done. A um, fire alarm. Let's take this plastic piece off. Scrap steel there.
And inside here will be some uh, gold bearings things. Take it apart. I remember I don't want to, took one of these apart on um, my IC scrap math then. And obviously we've got an LED, which this one does actually contain a gold bond wire because I can see by looking in, you can see the wire because it's see through. And then this one is like an LED, but it's literally got about, it's just got bond wires all the way around the outside. So I can imagine that's going to be absolutely full of gold. So we move that, bit of aluminium. the two silver capacitors off. Not much on these boards but they're actually decent boards by weight even though they're low grade. Um, it's like it's these little yellow dots are um, old style MRCCs so they're actually better than standard MRCCs. There's 909 done a video, I've said no one my videos but if you're new, 909 Deuce did a video on these and got 8 grams of palladium per kilo which is worth more than gold, so that's good. <laughs> the only problem is they're so light. But they're small. Some larger ones here. This board done. Go to the next one. Uh, is there even anything on here? Nope. This one's got a couple of things on, but not very much. It's all been done pretty much already on my last videos. Let's move this big aluminium caster first. And remove some of these bigger ones. Pastors next. I've heard the blue ones are the worst out of all the silver pastors. It's a shame there's all blue on here, but <laughs> oh well. I don't. I'm not 100 sure which ones contain silver. I know the majority of which contain silver, but there's a couple which. Like that black one, I didn't have a clue what that has in. But that can go in with it anyway. Uh, you remove these crystal oscillators. and stuff next and the blue things could have little copper coils in yeah they do heavy too it's like a ferrite which is basically steel holding them all all around the outside, well, on the inside of the blue thing, it makes them real heavy. Little handful there. Uh, 
here we have SATA pins. Very good. Normally they just pop up. I'm not even going to save. I'm going to put them with um, my connectors. I'm not even going to try to take the pins out. I normally pull the pins out, save them separate, but I still get all the gold. I just a bit more work. These ICs. Another crystal oscillator there. Got some IDE pins. Yeah, uh, saves them separate as well. Uh, where's the other one? Oh, there's another crystal later. One of those long ones. Thin long ones. That's all we want off there. Obviously we'll do the MLCCs last, but other than that, that's all I want to take of it. Take these aluminium capacitors off quick. I must have nearly 20 kilos of aluminium capacitors now. <laughs> Saved up for a long time. They're still only worth a couple of quid though. <laughs> still not worth very much. Oh well, saves room, so I still take them. It's not for the money when it comes to that. Oh, we got a transistor there. I'm going with my ICs and just some MOSFETs. And now that's done. I start off those boards being so heavy and then they literally weigh almost nothing by the end. That's some weird IDE type looking pins there. Hopefully they're gold and not honey bonds, but we'll remove anyway. Ah, 
acid will tell. They look a bit golden to me. Yeah, they're gold. By the looks of it, I put them with my IDE. Even though they're kind of weird, but we can go with it anyway. Bit of cable, I'll sort these cables out another time. Might do that on video as well. This I'm assuming has gold. They're well, not gold, um, copper. A fuser, good for silver. Another um, transistor to remove those relays, and I think that board's then done. All right, now it's some um, old style on RCCs too. These ones with the um, plastic case tend to be better normally, just because there's some the silver pieces always seem to be quite big, can't really see, but the actual part with silver on always ends up being quite big with those plastic ones, the ones you can see through anyway. Never far. Nice bit of silver there, that'll be. Remove these old style MRCCs. Those pins aren't gold plate, they're the silvery ones, so that'd be um tin plate of copper. So you won't plate them. That'd be a lot of work for a gram of less than a gram of copper. <laughs> Let's turn it this way so the ball can stand up. IDs off. My favourite pins on the board. These look like old style MLCCs, but they're on like a like a resistor would be. You just break one open and have a look. If you're not sure, break one open and you'll see. It would be like an actual MLCC inside, which you can't really see. Yeah, you can. It's like an MLCC, so that's an old style MLCC still. I've not seen one like that before, but it's definitely one. For saver, it's a leaf in here, no? The legs are massively long on this one, so I'm just cutting them short. That's that done. I'm going to go get a drink and come back. Come back. Let's have some squash.
Put a couple there. Gold fuse there, I'll take that. Where's my fuse pot? There it is. It's broken half, just put the other half off. There. Another board done. This one has one of those, I think they're a one-sided IC type thing. I'm not sure, but it's got plenty of copper there, so I can go in with my MOSFETs anyway, because they get processed. So if there is any gold, it will work. Well. Two MOSFETs in here. And then we've got two tantalum as well. I haven't been getting much tantalum lately. I used to get kilos. I used to be able to see. barely see any on my boards anymore. Two MOSFETs. Let me bring my MOSFETs out. Take your two aluminium capacitors off. Some copper. A little bit of copper there. On the back we've got some nice plating and on here we've got some nice plating so I keep these boards. Definitely be processing these for gold. There we go, gold pins in there. And there as well. We've got these two. Thing left is that gold um, ceramic oscillator. Good, really good for gold there. Not got very many because I sent mine off not too long ago, but we'll be posting them once we get a kilo, which will take forever, I reckon. But <laughs> we'll get there. I've got a few of the boards the same. All these have gold pins in. Not very well plated. Sometimes they are fully plated, but these ones seem look like they're just the tips plated. So um, not to be brilliant for gold, but still got gold there though. These aluminium capacitors in particular I really like. So they're easy to remove, they're the easiest to remove out of them all. But they're also the worst at the same time. Just getting the copper stuff off. Coming out this time, so we'll just chuck this in. My copper. That's 
with all what was left on these boards, so we'll just do the salmon phosphate and that's it. Well, these are probably in the top couple of best things on the board by weight. Out of the common things, by weight, this is probably the second best thing. The best thing being obviously the uh, gold corner VGA tops by weight, because they get about 10 grams of gold per kilo. Based on what I normally get, sometimes a little bit more, sometimes it's nothing. Kind of a, a risk when doing them, but these swam across we were just doing are about um, anywhere between five and ten grams of gold per kilo, and then um, the next best thing probably old style MRCCs, which is about eight grams of palladium. Laser. These look as if they uh, contain silver. Let me just get out. Looks like it could be silver plated there, I'm not sure. If you know, let me know. Uh, crystal slater there for silver. Capacitor for silver there. Some copper. Is that, that board done? Some gold pins on here. Rubbery thing here, let's pull that out. Put that in the bin. Gold pins are being here. Gold re re um, fuse. We've got some IDE, it's the little ones that can just be twisted off. Yeah, another gold fuse down here. Some copper. Aluminium. And it's just MRCCs and uh, these S&D resistors left. So I'll obviously be done with that. My MRCC video. Right there, we've got some switches. Got some gold pins in. It broke, but you can see the gold there. A little bit of gold. MOSFET. No, that's just the two relays and that's about it. Right, 
that was another relay there. And then just add the silver capacitors and then we're done. That's that. That's everything. Another one of these. Two aluminium capacitors. Bit of copper. Looks like everything, we'll just remove the stomach or stator, then we're done. Here we've got some beryllium, which is massively dangerous when broken. So all I do is I cut the legs without breaking the beryllium. It just goes straight in the bin. We've got some... a fuse. Silver capacitor. And then we've just got a relay. doesn't want to come off. What's stopping it? It must be a piece of metal or something stopping it. There we go. I don't know. I've got a box here I need to start. Oh, I barely lift it off. This was used to be a holder for um EPOMs. I thought I could probably store gold in there, <laughs> a little gold bead at some point. Uh, in here we got a bunch of uh, crystal sets I stored so I can store that into my new pot I'm using. And we've got an empty pot board there. Some more of these pots I'm going to store my gold in. That's just all relays, nice tub. That literally is about five kilos, it's really heavy. Doesn't look like much, but that's massively heavy. There must be some else in there making that heavy, I don't know. I think it must just be quite heavy. <laughs> yeah, it's really heavy, that pot. I'll definitely go through this with you one day. In fact, I'm gonna go through one with you now, just to show you. We'll do one of these, because you can see it all. Be easier for you to see and it's got good um, silver contacts in. Just snip the end, you'll be able to see where the casing comes off. So just break it off and the top comes off, like plastic, goes in the bin. And then, where's my pot for my silver? That is. All these are the ends of them. About half the weight of that would be silver, so there's a couple of ounces in there. Hopefully. The contact on the end is about 925 silver, so it's pretty much almost pure. But it's got dangerous metals in there, so don't mount it, it has to be refined. So the part in there, you can see it's got a silver a silver blob. Cut it nice and close. My uh, These aren't very sharp, so I'll just do it so it's indented. And then you can just twist it back and forward. And that's that done. Next one. In this case, there's 
a brass prong, a two brass ones and a copper one in the middle. Just keep bending it back and forward. And then this one. Back and forward and that's up them. So we've done those three pieces and then we've just got copper coils there and then two pieces of brass which you can just pull out nice and easy and a piece of copper. I'm going to try that in with my motor type stuff for now. You can sort that out soon. We'll go for that on a video soon. I'm sure we'll do it once all these boards are done because I'm sure there'll be 20 or 30 kilos there by then. And that'll make a real good video so you can get a, a kilo off these or something. Be a good target to aim for. Is that board done? Sat down. Here we've got some aluminium. Two relays again there. Make a pile even bigger. The, the little battery goes straight in the bin. Silver capacitor. Uh, these are our gold in, gold pins. If you pull it out, it's normally fully plated. Get my gold pin pot. And then where's the gold pins gone? Um, there. Just pinch them off. So it's done. Then we've got this. I'm not actually sure if they're gold plated. Where the fuse was. Sometimes they're a golden colour. I'm presuming gold plate instead of going with my pins. If they're not gold plate and they're brass, it won't matter just because brass will just get dissolved anyway. Another battery, just check the bin. These are brass, so I will cover them at one point. Then I go for the waist, and then we've got some gold plating on the back. So we'll just take the two few relays off, and we're done for now. Broke up a little bit, but two relays. There's another good thing about that relay pot, even though it's if it's like 10 kilos, it's probably well, five kilos from I said it was. Uh, it's probably actually eight or nine kilos, just plastic casings have come off a load. The majority of them break up a bit because they've broken up. The broken up parts are going to the bin. So, actually, originally it would have been more. So I've got a bit of copper there. And then just two aluminium capacitors. Is that done? I move this box off the top and go to the box lower. Just because we've got some big boards in there. Get some good stuff done fast then. got some copper copper there uh, crystal oscillators a little bit of silver
Nelson cable here. Some nice gold pins actually in there. It's where Right, so we're um, on the end here, there's some gold pins as well. Let's cut the cable part off. These can go in with our connectors, just so. And then we'll do the same with this side, let's cut the ends off. This end's already got a gold pin hanging out, so we'll just cut that off. Put that into our gold pin pot. Now we've got some cable we're clean up at some point. That into my cable pot. What else we got? That's about it for that for now. Let's remove this metal case. Sometimes aluminium, but you can see this one's gone rusty, so it's definitely steel. You can just you can tell if it's aluminium as well, it just feels different. Careful not to cut yourself on these, it's a real sharp. Seal off. And then in there. Lift this up so we can get underneath. Crystal oscillator there. A bit of silver. Another one here. Another one there. Tactical switches again for silver. When cleaning these boards up, the lower grade ones, you notice that's basically what I'm doing mostly on these videos, just because I'm trying to get get them gone because they're the heaviest and use up the most room. And they're the quickest to do as well, the higher grade boards, with mostly just chips, and you'll see we've done basically all of them on the IC marathons. And we'll be doing more of them in a, in a bit. One there. These are just connectors for gold pins. Just two connectors there. Throw these gold pins off. Is that done for now? Let's take these two screws at the back so we can get into it. Still there? Uh, these fat ones have copper coils in. So they're not actually ICs, they're just a tiny bit of copper. And copper in these.
twisted off right then. MOSFET. No, not MOSFET, a aluminium capacitor. And these just have gold pins in. RJ45 connectors. That type adds it quite quick. So it's removed a lot at once. Old fashioned low grade board. <laughs> Take this giant aluminium capacitor off first. Another one in. I'm going with my MOSFETs. MOSFET here. Another one here. Nice heavy ones as well. Move this big motor. My mum was calling me again. Some barely in here. Snap that off. Blend the bend. My dog barking now. <laughs> Take this capacitor out, throw the plastic away. Put it proper there. Another bit down here. This is our copper one as well. This nice tin solder there. Mm. Transistor there, a bit of gold. Some gold pins. And it's about it. These are copper in. Copper here. And then obviously there's copper coil. Tantalum on the back, yellow SMD tantalum. There's no board then. An old, never old board. Just pull this aluminium thing off. Let's 
some relays here. Another little pile of relays. They add up so quick. Copper here. Use the copper inside this. And we've got some IDE. Just have my paint scraper. See you there, look. Got an LCD screen on the back of this. I'll take that off first. Lucky it all flew off, nearly knocked the camera over. That's us. That done. There'll be copper inside this. There's copper in there. So you can see the copper inside. Take these three relays off and then the one down there. A few relays done. Might need to get a bigger pot for my relay pot. My relays in a minute. It's almost overflowing. So just take these silver capacitors off. Now it looks like everything done. Let's take them off. I'll take these off. That one off. <laughs> Some aluminium in here. And some copper. And the board done. some LCCs on the back there, we'll do them in a future video. I'm going to take this little aluminium capacitor, some silver there, tactical switch. Looks like that's about it. A relay on here. And that's that board done. I should have made this video just for doing relays, that's pretty much all we've done. So this is a good thing though. Always nice collecting relays. Nice quick silver. Especially right now, now silver's doing well. Look at that. 
steel and then steel pile. I take these big aluminium capacitors off. Some very lame, you don't want to break this, nice and gentle. Uh, copper. Over there, more copper. the legs of these. Put these two in the pot first. The legs are just gonna slide off. Now they're poking out, we can just pull them out. Draw them off. Send them. Some fuses. Be nice to do live streams instead that's why i really want to get to a thousand subscribers you can't live stream on my phone without uh, a thousand be good for to live stream this two fuses in the fuse pot mosfet Old style MRCC stuff here. We'll just cut the MOSFET at the end of the cable. And we'll cut these cables off.
some copper, black squares, zoom out. Two there, and there's two on the other side of two now. Then we've got seven relays, not the other relays. Some copper coils. Take these off for aluminium, they're nice and big. How long is this video going? One hour, eight minutes. How much battery I got? Got plenty of battery, so I'm just going to keep going on this video. Be a nice long one. Screws out first. Start from the side. pins in there. I think these was, uh, hang on, let me move that out of the way, old style MRCCs, these little yellow. Yeah they are. Big giant ones for old style MRCCs, they're never this big normally. As you can see, nice large ones. Break them open and you'll see it should be a standard MRCC inside, but it's the old version, so better for palladium. Battery here, straight in the bin, aluminium. Uh, take this off for gold. one side the piece for gold and then another battery here that can go in the bin and then we've got this lift that up got some gold pins inside I'll just take them out and put them in my bedroom cup Relay. Have I got a bigger pot for relays? Hold it. 
No, I don't. Yeah, what I'm using at, at the moment after day. I think. Yeah, I ain't got any more parts. We cut this silver plaster out. So I'll show you the relays. It's quite a big pot, it's really heavy. I can't believe how heavy it is. Quite a few kilos, but it's pretty much full now. And uh, I've got plenty more boards with relays on to go through. So it won't be long until that's overflowing. Let's do this one. Let's get rid of this big copper transformer. Silver capacitors next. So put it on here. Is that one done? Get rid of this silver. Yeah, not silver, um, aluminium. This one's got silver. And then, oh, there's nothing here. And then just three MOSFETs. A MOSFET bag starts to overflow as well. It's starting to rip, getting too heavy for the bag. They don't look very many, but they're proper heavy. I'll pause the video, set my dog, and I'll go sort them out. I'm going to stop the video here and come back again tomorrow because it's getting too long. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe and come back tomorrow for another video. Thank you, bye bye.